guys, it's TT. Welcome to TT Gets Active. Today we're going to be talking about plants that I've killed before and if I'm willing to buy them again. So we're going to go through a list of around 10, 12 plants. It's not going to be too long. It's a short video. And I think you're ready for stopping by and watching this video. And let's get right into it. I have no idea what officially killed myself appropriate. Peperomia, but since the day I got it, brought it back home, I just had problems left and right. And it wasn't even that big. It never even got that big. I think it was a a four inch pot, I believe it came in, or if anything, even smaller. It went through pests. I had to deal with pests, mostly root aphids, I believe. And then we had some underwatering issue. It would like dry up to a crisp sometimes, but then it would like welt so i thought it needed water but then to a point where it was like over watering and then some spots would tell me to keep it high humidity some spots told me it'd be able to handle room like regular house um humidity percentages so i was so very much confused so then for the light wise um i remember i brought i tried bringing it away from like my led lights but then that just caused it to be more green so i knew it was lacking light so i put it back under there and it was fine well fine and the issue was that it would always it would look horrible like it would look like crap but it would always push out new growth i always had baby leaves so one day like i just saw how many aphids were in there like root aphids and or let me just say pests because that's just me what I think it was. I don't necessarily know exactly what they were. I just saw how much there was in there one day. And then most of the like mature like mature leaves died. It was mostly just baby girls. I just chucked it away. I just got over it. I dealt with it for like, I want to say three months. It took me three months to kill that one. And I would not buy it, buy it again. I heard the whole peperomia genus family whatever is they're all like that apparently they all need needs a lot of people struggle with them so i think i'm just gonna stay away from all of them <laughs> like i am very much good so next we have the zebra plant so the zebra plant basically that one lasted from december i got it in my um first haul my plant collective haul so I feel like, so, and that was in December. So it lasted from December till, I wanna say until like fall again. So I feel like almost one year, if not, no, cause it, I think it started thriving during summer again. So yeah, around that much time. And the pure issue was not enough, not enough light. Cause when I first got it, I didn't have it. I didn't have any LED lights. So not enough light and also i believe the humid humidity in my house wasn't enough my house humidity is pretty normally up to like 40 percent without like any humidifier it never flowered um there would be new growth but every leaf every bottom leaf would always fall one by one and eventually there was more leaves falling than growing it never flowered that's actually the original reason why I even wanted a zero plant. Just because in the pictures it looks so beautiful with that yellow flower. And would I buy it again? Only if I had the perfect enclosement for it. So like in a cabinet or like a tent or something. Because I feel like it's really because of the humidity that the leaves just kept falling one by one. Because the watering was fine. The watering was fine. I know that for a fact. It's a, it's a really beautiful plant. It's a beautiful plant. And it's not expensive but it just it wasn't it wasn't giving what it needed to give you know what it needed to give <laughs> like they say but um i would definitely buy it again and yeah i'm just not gonna waste my money on it unless i have like that whole cabinet or cat set up so aloe vera aloe vera is always in people's top 10 top 5 whatever list of house plants to get for beginners that you can't kill I've killed both of my aloe veras. I bought one. Actually, this is what happened. I bought two medium small ones and then put them in a pot together and then they died. I had one big one with small ones around it and then they died. <laughs> and those two pots died by 
over watering I just there's no explanation it just got squishy and it was both both times it was like an accident first of all I'd be always scared from watering it because I'd be like oh I'm gonna you know over water it so uh because I'm not comfortable with cacti cactuses succulents all of that so I would just like let it dry out but then like the soil was getting like weight like bone dry so that's why I tried watering it. One time I literally spilled water all over my aloe vera because I would leave it outside. Um, I think the other time too I was watering it but then I just like poured over. So both of them was over watering. Why buy it? would I buy it again? Of course, I love aloe veras. They're beautiful. I want to buy different aloes. They're very, I find them, they look like art pieces. Some of them really look like art pieces. Very structural, structural and yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. And I wanna be like that top nature girl that grows for aloe vera. I don't have to buy it at Whole Foods or some bougie spot. I'll have my own organic aloe vera. So I'll be buying another one for sure. While they're still inexpensive, I'll be buying another one. And I'm gonna try again this summer. And hopefully, I don't overwater it. The polka dot plant was very. It's a cute plant, honestly. But basically the way I killed mine, it was, I just got annoyed of it because it would always get leggy. So I guess it didn't have enough light in it, even though it was literally right under one of my LED lights, it would always get leggy. And at one point the leaves would get like smaller and smaller. So that's when I knew it was lacking light. But then at the same time, it didn't have that many roots, but it had so many leaves. And at one point it had pests. And at one point, um, I know for a fact it, I, I didn't have enough humidity for it because I just had it in regular um, room, like household humidity. And it got pests at one point and I just got over it. I was like, honestly, you're cute, but I don't like you that much. So I had to cut it down a lot, but then I just threw it out. I just, I just threw it out. It wasn't worth it to me. <laughs> Would I buy it again? Um, I would buy it again, only if, only if I have a, a terrarium or tetrarium, whatever, terrarium. So, because it really likes high humidity and I find it only cute in small quantities. Like I don't like in small amounts when there's like a cute small amount of leaves in there. I don't love it enough to have a big bush of it or anything. No, not at all. The way I killed my Nerf plant was by letting it dry, which is literally the most common way that people kill their Nerf plants. Um, it was absolutely beautiful. I just wasn't home for like over a month at one point. So it just didn't make it. And then at one point I tried propagating it, like whatever was left and I put it in this really, really small pot. It was very dramatic, very hard until it dried up too. Cause I had to go back again and disappear for like one, two weeks and it couldn't handle that. And I didn't have my humidifier at that, at that time. Would I buy it again? 100%. It is absolutely beautiful. I want the white one. I want the red one. I want... Is there a pink one? I'm not sure. I want all the colors. I want like one nice bush of every single color. And my mom also loves them very much. So number one reason why I'm going to buy them again. Because she'd be asking me about them. I had a stag corn fern at one point and I also killed that one but that one was sort of like me just testing stuff I had a whole root aphids um infestation at one point and I was just getting rid of I was doing pest control on all my plants and my fern basically all my velvety leaves I hated it hated it hated it the leaves burnt right off um would I buy it again a hundred percent already did um, I have it with me right now and it's looking great it's growing beautifully I love staghorn ferns I can have five if I could I saw this one video on YouTube where it's this one guy I think he lives in Florida and he just has this giant staghorn fern basically chandelier and it's just hanging and it's beautiful he just soaks it and it loves it and it's ginormous. I also want to do the whole classic, um, put it on a tree bark or 
like a plank of wood on some moss and everything like that is beautiful to me so yeah Zygo Forum already bought me another one. Definitely want to buy me some more. Try to grow it as big, 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 big as I possibly can. The Wandering. Okay. I killed, I had it twice, killed it twice, same way. Overwatering. But was it, I'm not sure if it was overwatering or just a watering method. Because what happened was I just kept off, always bottom watering, bottom watering, bottom watering. And then some days I was in a rush and i would top water or i would honestly think it just wasn't getting enough water or it wasn't soaking up all the water that it needed because it would some of them would dry up and also after when i was done watering the pot wouldn't feel heavier it would still feel light so that was confusing me at one point even though the water would go down until a certain amount and i would add more water until it wouldn't like soak it up anymore every single time so that was confusing but um yeah so i would just um top water it and both times the leaves all went mushy i propagated it the first one and created a second one and killed those ones and then bought a whole new one and killed that one and tried to propagate the cut ends of that one and also killed them so you can say i say two because it's like two mother plants but you can say four also so yeah uh would i buy it again i heard that the the nauk the nauk one and the white and green ones are not as complicated i heard they're way easier so i wouldn't mind trying those ones because it's very beautiful i love how the coloring on all of them just looks like a I guess a paintbrush, like a swipe of paint with a paintbrush. So it's really beautiful. Um, so I would probably try to buy those ones and see how that works for me. And then probably do that again. But yeah, very beautiful plant. Not beginner friendly. I don't know. Th those are also recommended for beginner friendly. I would not consider that to a beginner. Or maybe I'm just that bad, but yeah. <laughs> I've mentioned earlier that cactuses, sorry, cacti, succulents are not really my thing, but, so this one's not really surprising, but I had this one, I thought it was a pickle, it had pickle cactus on it, but I looked up a pi pickle, sorry, a pickle cactus, it looked nothing like it, so it was this one, and basically, I killed it the way how most people killed cacti and i overwatered it overwatered it so basically i was watering my plants one day just gave that one too much water because i was nervous for it and it got mushier and mushier and mushier and mushier until it died fully and i just chucked it right back out would i buy it again would i specifically buy that cactus no um, I honestly just bought it plus the other one that I have just to honestly experiment, see how I am with cacti. Um, but I mostly want really big ones. I think really big cactuses look really cool. Or some of the South African ones, I believe, like the, is it the Euphoria? The Euphoria one looks very beautiful. Um, and I'm curious to see if I can actually make a cactus bloom. That'd be really sick. That'd be really sick. If I can, if I literally just have to neglect them. I want, like, having plants that will be neglected and still bloom. All it needs is a, a crazy dose of light. I want to try and succeed with that. That'd be really cool. One of my favorite plants was the paler palm. I had a really small one. Started off in like a 3-4 inch or even smaller to be honest and i got it from canadian tire and everything it lasted me like a good three two years two three years let's say two three years and can i tell you what happened honestly i don't remember i don't i know i had it in this house but i i don't remember it just died i remember like throwing it i remember trying to see why it died and I remember knowing why it died and telling myself I don't really care about this palm. Especially when I found out it's going to take forever for it to grow as a ginormous palm. Uh, I just... So I had an air plant. I had an air plant 
and the way it died, the way I killed it by not letting it dry properly. So basically I would soak my air plants for like five minutes and one day I just didn't let it dry out on my paper towel like I normally do for long enough. Normally I, I let it sit there for like almost the whole day to be honest, like just dry there. Um, but that day, I guess I just didn't leave it long enough and it just went back in my, the little jar thingy that I was in and it just got, I just looked at it one day and it was like mushy, but oh wait, I think I've killed two because there's this other one, there's this other one that I had that it just, one day, I guess I just forgot about it completely out of my conscious and i just look into a jar and there's just this small little like, just wrinkled up to like just <laughs> it was just it, it was looking like dehydrated spongebob and patrick like it was so bad it was it was bad so yeah i killed two of them so one was by overwatering because i didn't dry it properly and the other one dried up to a crisp would i buy them again honestly no air plants are not that cute to me i bought them be just because and they were five dollars i thought why not it was also part of the plant collective all i had and i would look at it and i'm just be like oh hey you know are you i guess but it wasn't i wasn't getting love from it i wasn't getting joy from it i wasn't getting excitement from it nothing was interesting to me literally nothing just it was just like oh look at it it looks weird that's all i had <laughs> killed an african violet literally one of the typical classic cubicle plants it was the pesticides like i told you guys the velvet leaves hated that hated that pesticide i would definitely buy me another one they're very pretty the flowers are very beautiful to me so i want the pink the purple the blue i don't think white but i'm not sure there's also variegated um african violets with which they look very cute it's very subtle very subtle and classy um i'm interested in those ones but i don't see them that much i don't see them on etsy i don't see them online anywhere i don't have a plant shop so far so i like having them but it's not something I hear, like a lot of people also speak about though. So maybe they're just not that popular. But I want one, yeah. I love African violets. They're very pretty. The last thing, last plant or plants that I've killed isn't necessarily considered a house plant, but it's herbs. Herbs, herbs, herbs. I cannot grow herbs indoors. No matter what I do. I this is the third. There's summer I've tried. I I can grow them outside. I've grown basil outside, brought it in, died. I've done that three times. I've brought sage outside. I'm uh, sorry, I've grown sage outside, brought it in, died. Um, thyme, brought it in, died. Rosemary, brought it in, died. Um, I even tried, so then at one point I thought maybe it's because I'm just really like, bad at letting them acclimate like acclimating them from outdoors to indoors so then i thought oh my goodness let me just grow seeds and my best friend supported me and was so cute and bought me little seeds actual garden seeds for christmas and there was sage in there thyme in there i had a few sprouts left and right even some tomatoes in there they all burnt to a crisp would i regrow them grow them again or buy buy them again of course i want to be able to grow the most produce uh well like food that i can indoors time being but um if i have to grow them on my balcony i guess and then just let them die every winter i guess i'll just do that because there's definitely a difference there's definitely a difference when you grow yourself in conclusion what have i learned overall i am a overwaterer I will overwater plants. It's inevitable. I'm trying. I am getting better. But I think that's why cactuses, cacti are just not for me. I want giant ones because I do find them a beautiful, beautiful 
as a decorative piece like home decor but that that's gonna be very much all thank you so much for watching those were all the times i've killed and how i've killed them and if i'm willing to buy them again go through that all over again whatever you plan on doing today i hope it goes well and see you guys next time bye <laughs>